Right, now this is quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I've just come round from the uh, Tower Hotel on a little walkway there and uh, across over a little bridge. I've just come across this sign about the lock. Now, I think I've given you all a good opportunity to read that, right? But if I haven't, you can always go back and pause the video, can't you, right? So, so basically, uh, how, I'm, how I'm reading this, this is what happens, right? So, <clears throat> there's, there's St. Catherine's Dock over there, right? Where all the uh, boats and yachts and stuff are, are moored up. And there's the, you can see how high the water level is there in the dock itself, right? And then there's that uh, bridge that that guy's walking over and this car's just going across now. Uh, so that opens uh, up over in a similar fashion, the tower bridge. And below that, we've got this um, part of the lock, which is like this, this uh, concrete barrier thing, I guess, right? And so I suppose what happens is when the uh, and oh and uh, we've also got another one uh, down the other end and uh, another little swing bridge. That's the one I've just walked over, right? So I guess what happens is uh, when a boat wants to leave St Catherine's Dock, they'll first of all open uh, this barrier thing that I'm pointing the camera at now because that. In front of it is the River Thames, right? So I guess they'll open that, allow some water in from the Thames to bring the level of this bit up to the level of the water at St Catherine's Dock, right? And then once they've done that, they'll open this other barrier and then that'll allow the uh, the ships and boats and yachts or whatever they are to to come out and pass out uh, through onto the River Thames. It's all very intriguing, isn't it, ladies? And it's bloody clever stuff, right? Other things to have aren't it clever, but then then again, I'm as thick as big shit, so you know it's quite impressive to me anyway. Uh, so there you go. I just thought I'd show you that because I was just passing it on my travels. Um, so there you are, right, see you later, bye. Right, so I've just come back from that, uh, well around the corner from that little um, thing that I showed you with the, uh, with the, the lock, right, and uh, I've just stumbled across this absolutely beautiful scene, right, not, not this one in particular, I'm just showing you an old uh, pillar box in a, a red phone box, but if I pan round to the right now, okay, this is um, part of St Catherine's Dock uh, Marina, I guess you'd call it, right? Um, and it's a lovely little square. Look, there's uh, there's you know a few trees and plants and lots of benches. You can have, stop and have a sit down and look at the boats in the marina and uh, just panning further round in the view in a minute we shall see the Dickens Inn now that's a uh, I think it's three levels I think there's a ground the middle and the the upper um, it's a restaurant it's a bar fully licensed uh, it's a rather nice place actually and you can also sit outside if it's a nice day as it is today um, another part of the Dickens Inn over there in the corner and then to the right of that is uh, one of the entrances to uh, Marla restaurant that's a Indian restaurant um, so and that that extends all the way down here as well and uh, there we go so I'll just turn around a little bit more and uh, there's sign Yacht Club St Catherine's Lock St Catherine's Pier and a little bit further round and we come back to where we started off at the red pillar box and red phone box so there you go that's uh, a lovely little square isn't it ladies and gentlemen <laughs>